Excel. I'd like to point out basically how to get around this spreadsheet and how these different cells operate. First of all, any cell within Excel uh, is represented by either the, by the column that it's located in and by the row that it's located in. So for instance, this cell is cell B5, this cell is cell C9, and so on. You can have three different kinds of information in each cell. You can have a label, which is just plain text, like label or number or function. You can have a uh, number. Okay, I'll put January in here just so you can see me do it. You can have a number like one, two, three. You can have a function. Now that function can consist of a formula that you can use to perform some work. And the way that we start a function in Excel in a cell, and we let it know it's going to be a function, is we start with an equal sign. So once I put in that equal sign, you'll notice there was a little change up here. This bar appeared in that little equal sign uh, was echoed there. And I can say that this is equal to, so let's say it's going to say it's going to be equal to 123. Or actually, I can just even type in a function like 12 plus 34 and hit enter. And it actually does the addition for me. Now, I can also do a lot of other things with it. For instance, I can do multiplication across rows. So for instance, if I am doing an invoice, I could say, well, let's say the unit course is 11.2, but someone ordered 10 of them. So the value of that is going to be equal to 11.2 and times, and times is represented by an asterisk, as it often is in uh, calculators, times 10 is equal to 112. I can also do that for the next row. Equals 20 times 20. Now, if I don't want to continue to do that all the way down, I can actually copy the formula that's in that cell by just grabbing the corner here and dragging it down. And it will do the same calculation for each one of these other cells intelligently. Notice it didn't just copy the 400. It copied the formula down. If you look up here in this corner, that's G4 times F4. The next row was going to be G5 times S5. And 560 is G6 times F6. And so on. And if we want, we can use another function built into Excel called sum equals sum parentheses, whoops, sum parentheses, and then I can tell it, well, that's going to be from G3 to, and I use a semi, a colon rather, to tell it to what new cell, G3 to G, uh, let me see which one that is, that's G8, G7 rather, and it'll add up that column of numbers. And that's equal to, oops, I made a mistake there, obviously. Okay, that's equal to G, H, or should be H, right? Okay, so let me click back into this and change that to H and this to H. And there we go, we get the right number. Now, if I go back and change one of these numbers, well, let's say we got the unit cost wrong on there. It's really $300, 399 yeah, You'll see that all of the rest of the calculations that are based on it will update as well. So that's another one in strengths of uh, Excel. Another way I can copy numbers down, I can actually just copy this number down. I can click in here and drag down since it's not a formula. Or I think it was, uh, maybe it was, I'm not sure. Okay, I can go up to uh, Edit, Fill, Down. And it'll copy that number down for me. I can also do the same thing, click in here and drag down and go over to a little symbol that we have in our ribbon that says fill and tell it to fill down. On PCs, this little fill button is over on the right hand side. On Macs, for some reason, it's over on the left hand side. So you'll be able to find it on the ribbon. Uh, if you need to, it's on the home ribbon. Okay, so those are the basics of using Excel to organize data and to either create a label in a cell, put a number into a cell, 
or use a cell for a calculation.